Okay. Take this or something else. Let me... Okay. All right, folks. 30 things to know before moving. Where? Where are we moving to? Charleston. Hey. All right. <clears throat> Chuck Town, Chuck Village. In this video, I'm going to give you 30 things you must know before moving to Charleston, South Carolina. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan McHugh and welcome to this channel. A channel dedicated to everything about living in or moving to Charleston, South Carolina. If you want to know more about living, eating, working, and shopping in Charleston, I highly recommend subscribing to my channel and clicking that notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you get notified. I love helping people get to know Charleston and everything it has to offer. If you have questions about moving or relocating here, give me a call, text, or email. Just reach out, it doesn't matter. Of Charleston, also known as Charlestown, Chucktown, or The Chuck, is a uniquely American city full of history, character, and a southern-sized portion of charm. It's also a pretty amazing place to live if I don't say so myself. If you're thinking of settling down to a low country way of living, here are 30 things you should know before moseying on down to one of America's most beloved cities. Number one, it's a geographic mashup. Charleston was originally just the 127 square mile peninsula, but Charleston proper actually comprises of six different areas. You have the downtown, the peninsula, James Island, Johns Island, Daniels Island, and West Ashley. Add in the nearby townships of Sullivan's Island, the Isle of Palms, and Mount Pleasant, all east of the Cooper River, and you've got a modern day water world. Number two, take your time. What's the rush? Where are you going? Take your time, it's fine. Charleston is more or less a bunch of barrier islands connected by roads, so everyone generally moves like the only thing they are going to get to is a Jimmy Buffett concert, especially while walking or driving. About the only time people use their horn is to say and you're sure to even get a few suspicious glares before they turn into smiles. Best thing you can do to get people to speed up is just to slow down yourself. Number three, there is no soda, only Coke. The word Coke refers to any soft drink. Yes, Coke down south could mean Sprite, Cola, Dr. Pepper, Mountain Dew, or any sugary beverage, but never, never a Pepsi. That would just be downright offensive. And I don't care who you are. Number four, watch where Hugh go. Many longtime locals refer to the city and their lives as pre-Hugo and post-Hugo. And for good reason. He was a home wrecker. let's just be honest. Mary, Mary. No Hugo isn't the name of a Southern Casanova who gets around, but in fact, a hurricane. Hurricane Hugo devastated the city in 1989, causing over 5.9 billion in damage to South Carolina's coast. I Number five, months with an R are the best. Chucktown turns into Shucktown from September to April, when wild oysters are done mating and less susceptible to disease. Peak oyster season coincides perfectly with football, and there's no better combination than roasting and shooting oysters while catching a game on TV. Number six, Bill Murray's always watching. Movie star, internet meme king, and oddball legend Bill Murray crashes in Charleston at random times and of the year. And he's also made a lot of headlines once photobombing a couple's engagement shoot downtown. Fun fact, Murray is actually part owner of the Charleston River Dogs, the city's minor league baseball team. Number seven, everything is either the best, the oldest, or the first. Charleston has served as one of the nation's busiest ports since the 1600s and was a pivotal city in both the Revolutionary and Civil War. Almost every single building downtown has his historical significance. Number eight, it's full of grave reminders. A city with a graveyard on almost every block may sound like a real downer, but Charleston's stunning centuries of old graveyards may make you actually look forward to dying. You'll want to check them out during the day, as Charleston's consistently ranked as one of the most haunted cities in the nation. And the graveyards tend to get, well, crowded at night. Number nine, the city is as charming as you are. 
Charleston was deemed America's most friendliest city by Travel and Leisure magazine back in 2014, but locals can understandably be a bit defensive of Yankees intruding on their turf. Let's be honest. Just mind your manners, try a sweet tea, and don't laugh at the word y'all, and you're sure to work your way into Charlestonians' hearts. I promise. 10. You can fly a plane to work? I cannot fly a plane to work. Who said I could fly a plane to work? Oh, you're talking pilots. Uh, I get you. Okay. Charleston is home to not only an active Air Force base, but the Jet Bohemoth Boeing's 787 Dreamliner factory. Look up in the sky and you may catch a glimpse of Boeing's Dream Lifter, a massive jet that transports 787 parts from all over the world to the factory. You may also catch a glimpse of the sun, so don't glimpse too long because you'll, you'll end up blind. 11. You'll want to say your prayers. The Holy City has an ordinance that no building can be erected higher than the tallest church steeple, giving the city its nickname. Religious and non-religious locals alike generally enjoy the rule, as it keeps Charleston's skyline free of skyscrapers and full of its historic charm. 12. Set your liquor alarm. Charleston's strict liquor laws prohibit Sunday sales and you can't buy hard liquor except from what locals call red dot stores, which generally close after 7 p.m. Setting an alarm to buy liquor is a good idea, even if some people judge you for it. Don't, don't listen to them. 13. Learn your names and numbers. Every major road in Charleston areas has not only a number, but a name as well. Residents will often refer to roads by both, but never at the same time. About the only constant is the Arthur Ravenall Jr. Bridge, which stretches across the Cooper River, a celebration of art, music, and theater, which brings in nation, national headliners from all disciplines. Downtown is also home to America's first theater, the Dock Street Theater, opened in 1736. 15. The ice is nice. Charleston boasts the South Carolina Stingrays, a championship caliber minor league hockey team. For a town with no annual snowfall, the Stingrays have consistently made it to the playoffs for the past six years and even won the Kelly Cup championship in 2009 against the Alaska Aces. Because why? Well, that's what South Carolina does. 16. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. The entire geography of Charleston is entrenched in salt marsh, which provides a bevy of activities for residents and a nutrient-rich ecosystem for wildlife. Just be careful at low tide. The stinky pluff mud may look like a sturdy base for exploration, but will can instantly suck you down into its grasp, even with the best of boots. So yeah. 17. It's the perfect backdrop for anything. Live oaks, Spanish moss, and the coastal plain provide absolutely stunning scenery that's caught the attention of not only couples looking to get married here, but Hollywood directors as well. Charleston was used for most notably The Patriot starring Mel Gibson and The Notebook starring Rachel McAdams and Ryan Gosling. 18. Look out for the knobs. The term knob refers to a deliberately shaved head of incoming freshmen of Charleston's most infamous military college, the Citadel. The college has been both points of pride and controversy for Charleston because of strict military standards and incidents with senior cadets' favorite pastime, hazing the knobs. 19. Battery is a good thing. Well, sort of. The Battery is an old defensive seawall that lines the peninsula and now hosts some of the oldest and most expensive antebellum homes that overlook the Charleston Harbor. The area is also home to beautiful parks so you can walk along the waterfront and dream about a life that you will never be rich enough to live. Because it costs a lot of money to live down there. Absolutely an atrocious thing. 20. There's good Southern pride. Charlestonians are proud of their city and culture and not in the, the South will rise again type way. Any native will know exactly how long their family has been in the South, where they came from and how long they intend to stay in Charleston, which is ultimately until they die. So that's how long. 21, you'll know 20 Ashleys and 50 Carolines. Pick any girl in Charleston and there's a 50-50 chance she'll be named Ashley or Caroline. Seriously, do it, I'm not, I'm not even joking. 
Honestly, we wouldn't be surprised if you're watching this right now and your name is Ashley Caroline or Ashley Caroline. Is it, I mean, I, honestly, please comment below. I'd like to know. I, I was pretty sure I thought so. People love to name their daughters after the Ashley River, which feeds right into the Charleston Harbor. And Caroline, well, the state we live in. I mean, obviously. Don't worry, Ashley Caroline, this is the only time in this video I will refer to you by your name, so we're done. 22, low country cooking. Crabs, oysters, fresh fish, shrimp fried <laughs> Crabs, oysters, fresh fish, shrimp, fried chicken, grits, all of these taste absolutely amazing in Charleston and they're everywhere. As a general rule of thumb, shy away from Hyman's or any of the touristy spots and go off the beaten path. Husk is a critically acclaimed restaurant that's worth saving up money and waiting to visit. The Wreck of Richard and Charlene is a divey seafood joint that gives you a lead pipe to crack open your seafood and is on my must visit list. 23, surfs up, sometimes? While the southeastern coast is mainly known for its flat, inconsistent waves, Charleston has nurtured a small but mighty surf culture. Hurricane season brings in world-class swell to the area and can produce massive waves more than California or Hawaii. The washout, a beach break located on Folly Beach, is a proving ground for the elite local surfers and is one for the better surf spots along the entire East Coast. 24, the Tigers are blind. The Blind Tiger Pub opened in 1803 and has served Charlestonians libations ever since. During the prohibition, patrons would pay admission to see a, a blind tiger and would be given a free cocktail while they waited for said tiger. To this day, the pub stands and has a beautiful back patio that is perfect spot to grab a drink. Except now, you can just order a beer instead of speaking in code. 25, it's blowing up. Statistics show that 43 people per day are moving to the Charleston area, making it a rapidly growing city with no signs of slowing down anytime soon. We've also had 13 record-breaking weeks in home sales, 400 plus sales per week in the year 2020. 26, bring a change of clothes. Summer lasts pretty much all year round in Charleston, except during the actual summer, in which the entire city turns into a locker room sauna just without all the nudity. It's hot, it's wet, and with an average of 73% humidity year round, you'll be sweating like an old hefty Southern lawyer just out getting the mail. 27, it's becoming more progressive. While there are still some of the old deep south around, the city has grown as a whole and open mindsets are growing with it. No one wants to secede, but no one is still disappointed the South lost the Civil War. All people are welcome, though you may get good natured called a Yankee every once in a while. It's just, it comes, I've been called a lot. 28, it's a portly city. The Port of Charleston is one of the largest in the US and has been since the 1600s. The port provides thousands of jobs and welcomes container ships too large to fit through the Panama Canal. Though, don't tell the ships that, they're a little self-conscious about their size. 29, you're either a cock or a tiger. It might seem like an obvious choice, but plenty of the people are proud to be cocks, game cocks that is. With no professional sports teams, college football is king in Charleston, and the University of South Carolina, or USC, as fans will say, versus Clemson rivalry is as intense as they come. If you don't like picking sides, you should probably just go ahead and pick another city because it's not for you. 30, pack your bags. We are ready to move. This is the final tip. And this is the one that I recommend the most. Be sure to give me a call. Charleston is moving like crazy and you need to be here. Be sure to look at available properties now. Live listings, not Zillow, not Redfin, but live. Go to www.buyfromride.com. Once again, that website is www.buyfromride.com. Look at available properties now and I'll see you when you get here.